Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I'm gonna be covering importing non-Steam and Windows App Store games into LaunchBox. One of the reasons I wanted to do this is because I buy a lot of games on GOG. I also have a Steam account and buy a lot of games there also. But sometimes I run across games on GOG that are cheaper. It's just easier for me to purchase them from there. If you're looking to import Steam games, Brad made an awesome tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description for you. I'm also gonna go over importing Windows games. Like I have um, the Windows version, Windows 10 version of Minecraft, and I also have Horizon 3. I wanted these in my launch box. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I have some shortcuts to Broforce, Cave Story, Undertale, and Titan Souls on my desktop. Unfortunately, these were created by the GOG installer and LaunchBox does not detect them. So what I did was I created a folder in my documents called PC Games. I just made a shortcut of each of these. So I'll create a shortcut. It'll place them on the desktop. And then I put all of these into this folder here. LaunchBox can detect these. I'm not sure why it can't detect the ones that the GOG installer created, but nonetheless, we can use the shortcuts we created. I'm just gonna delete these because I don't need them anymore and I don't want them on my desktop. I also wanna import a few games that I downloaded on the Windows App Store, like Horizon 3 and the Windows 10 version of Minecraft. So I'm gonna find those games from my start menu here. Go to Horizon 3. I'm gonna place it in this folder here. I'll also find my Minecraft Windows 10 version. And I'll place it in my Documents PC Games. These games won't be portable with LaunchBox because they're installed in a different directory. But if you're installing these games from GOG, you can always install them into your LaunchBox directory to keep them portable if you want. Now that I have all my shortcuts for all the games that I'd like to import into LaunchBox, I'm gonna start LaunchBox. From the menu here, we'll go to Game, Add, Application Path. I'm gonna browse Documents, PC Games, and I wanna select all files so I can see that Horizon 3 and Minecraft Windows 10 also. I'm gonna start with Forza Horizon 3. Search for metadata. It found it in the LaunchBox database, Forza Horizon 3, Windows. We're just gonna make sure that's checked. Download images and media. So it found box art, clear logo, and fan art. I'm just gonna download all. So I'm done here. You can add series if you'd like, status, source. You can add the region and version, but this seems good to me. Have it in my Windows platform. Click OK. Now over in the left-hand column here, we should have a Windows section. We now have Forza Horizon 3 imported into LaunchBox. We're gonna do it again for a GOG game. Go to Add, Application Path, Documents, PC Games, and I'm gonna do Cave Story. Search for metadata. I'm gonna choose Cave Story Plus because this is the English translated version for Windows. It'll automatically populate your platform, publisher, rating, download images and media, box art, clear logo, fan art, screenshot. So there's a good amount of stuff available for Cave Story. Download. and click OK. So we now have Cave Story imported in a launch box. I'm just gonna do one more real quick. Game, add, application path, documents, PC games, Undertale, search for metadata, Windows version, download images and media, download. Click OK. Let's just say you don't wanna create shortcuts anywhere on your PC for these games. Now I'm doing GOG, you're gonna to have to find the directory the game is installed in, but I'm gonna to go to game, add, application path, C drive, 
Whenever I install a GOG game, it goes into a GOG games folder on my C drive. Double click, Titan Souls, find the EXE, search for metadata, Windows, Titan Souls, LaunchBox database. Everything populated correctly. Download images and media. Download. Click OK. And we now have four games imported. If you have like 100 non-Steam games on your computer, this could definitely take a while, but it is worth it because this works in Big Box. So as soon as we launch Big Box mode, we can go to the Windows section and find each one of these games and launch them from Big Box. I'm gonna do that now. So here's my Windows section. And as you can see, we can launch them directly from within Big Box. So I'm gonna launch Forza Horizon 3. Play. So when you launch Forza Horizon 3, it goes window mode, but then it will go full screen as soon as you click on it. It has nothing to do with LaunchBox. This is just how the game is. It's a little weird. There we go. Now exiting these games is gonna be a bit different depending on the game. You can't just press escape like your ROMs and exit the game. You have to exit it properly. So in every one of these games, you'll go to the menu, go to exit game. So now that we're into the menu, we can just go to exit. Yes, I'm sure I wanna exit the game and it'll be a bit different for each of these PC games, but that's just what we have to deal with right now. A lot of these games are not programmed to press escape and close the application automatically. So that's it for this tutorial. We really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button, and subscribe to the LaunchBox YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials, news, and upcoming features. Like always, thanks for watching.